Hey guys, this is Cassie with Dave, and today I'm taking a look at the new BDA Armory, which now has a, well, it has a new addition. It's a ground AI pilot, basically. A ground driving AI thing. So, in, for quite a long time now, um, BDA Armory's had an AI pilot for planes, so that um, the AI could take control of planes, and you could have, like, cool dogfights. And now, in the most recent update for KSP 1.4.2, or 1.4.3 or something, um, they've now added a module that looks the same, which you can see in here on the front, um, which which is basically the same, except as an AI service operator, so now you can have actual tank battles. So let's just kind of get this uh, a quick one underway. I've got two main battle tanks uh, set up, and uh, if I... Ooh! Physics Range Extender's doing its thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no, I've destroyed the world. Oh, I hate it when I destroy the world. Okay, okay. What is my physics range? Oh, it's a thousand kilometers. Okay, right. That explains why I can swim. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Okay, quick loaded, and now we have our tanks back, and the world has not ended. Um, so, yeah, let's put both the things on, and then put their guard mode on, and they'll have a little battle. So, yeah, now you can see they're driving themselves. I'm not pressing any buttons. And they'll have themselves a little battle. They'll close to some kind of range. I think a kilometer is where they try and close to on the current settings. And then they'll pretty much just circle each other if neither of them die and have a bit of a battle, which is quite fun. So if we go and see the other one, um, it's also moving kind of headlong. So there's lots of settings in here, um, which you can do. Tanks are weirdly shaky now. I know this is shaking around a lot. I don't know what that's about, but I've had a lot of trouble building tanks in 1.4. I think maybe there's some physics update, which makes parts more more shaky. Anyway, so I think the minimum engagement range is 500 meters, so they'll get to 500 meters and probably circle each other, I reckon. Um, their attack vector is bow, but I could change it to broadside, and they'll try and shoot each other from the broadside, I guess. Um, and that might circle a little more. I'll leave that on and see what happens. And yeah, you can do all these different things, kind of their cruise speed and things like that, and uh, moving pitch, bank angle, steer factor, which all just affects how they drive. Um, so yeah, this guy's going to keep trying to hit, try and attack front-wise, and this guy's going to keep trying to attack sidewise or bow-wise, I guess. Uh, no, um, broadside-wise. Um, that's too many words. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty cool. So obviously this is just one-on-one. -on -one. I've got some ideas for scenarios in this uh, video, uh, but I thought I'd just take a look at it. This has been hit in the front. I lost some armor. I think all of these have 200 millimeters of armor. Oh no! Oh, so, okay, apparently I missed a couple of panels, but most of them have 200 millimeters of armor. Um, same with the guns as well, because you don't want them getting destroyed. Um, yeah, they are moving kind of shakily. I don't know why it shakes around so much, but uh, I think it's just weaving a bit. But the parts do shake as well. I've had a lot of trouble with that. This guy's looking better. He's lost a wheel bit, a bit of wheel armor, and if he loses that, I guess he's pretty much screwed. Um, but yeah, now I guess they're going to go pretty slowly and circle each other kind of Fury style. Ooh, I could totally do a Fury kind of thing. You know, in the film Fury, where they, like, circle the Tiger tank in their, um, in their, uh, Sherman, and then they shoot it in the back. Oh, that is a objectively not great film with some great scenes in it. Okay, so this guy looks like he's been defeated. Um, totally, yeah, his gun's been ripped off. You can see the rounds coming in now. Um, he'll try and escape, probably, but, uh, he doesn't have a machine gun, because apparently I just didn't put one on, so he's going to die. Um, this guy, oh, I thought this guy, guy was down and out. He's got some got some holes in him, but he's alright. Looks like a round came through here as well. Um, kind of careened through like this. Yeah, anyway, pretty cool. So yeah, that's that. But let's do a little more interesting scenario. Not just two main battle tanks slugging it out. Let's see if we can get quite a few craft around and uh, have a bit of fun. So we're going to quick load. Um, and then I think I'm going to have... I'm going to start with just one tank. And then have a bunch of light tanks attack it. I built a few little light tanks um, to do that. All right, so let's vessel move it in some some light tanks. Um, I don't really have very good light tanks. I just built a smaller tank with a 30 mil chain gun on it because I don't have any of my gun mods. I just have BD Armory installed and then a few of the peripheral mods. Um, so we're pretty much going to be using these 30 mm cannons because I don't have any small tank guns. Um, but yeah, I guess at some point. I might do a bigger thing with this. Of course, the main thing that I'm going to be probably doing with this eventually after Season 4 of Fighter Jet Showdown is Tank Showdown. Because that'd be cool. Um, if you don't know, if you are somehow new to... What the bloody hell is this? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just drop it and then... Oh wait, no, that was a really bad idea! Okay, I don't know why I paused. Um, we've got to recover this. Uh, Alright. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I think this was a prototype which went horribly wrong. And now is on. Fuck. Okay, let's go back to the space. 
Alright, we've gotten rid of that. Let's get a couple couple more light tanks and see if we can have a bit of a summon more complex. See how see how far we can push this. But yeah, like I was saying, um, if you are new, just looking at this mod, wondering what's happening. I do do a series called Fighter Jet Showdown, where we have a bunch of fighter jets and we use the AI pilot and they all have a big fight um, using stuff people make and send to me. So at some point we should totally do a, f a tank showdown. I keep wanting to say fighter tank showdown. <laughs> Maybe it should be fighter tank showdown, that'd be cool. Um, Anyway, alright, okay, so let's, uh, the guard mode is basically fine, so if we put the main battle tank here, we'll have these three light tanks to try and mess them up, so let's get them all on this, and then get them all on guard mode, and just have a fight. Alright, so the 30 mils have the problem of, they can only really shoot a certain, they don't turn all the way around, so they're going to have a slight problem if they are um, got a, something behind them. But yeah, alright, so we've got the main battle tank moving in, taking fire. Thinking something exploded. Wow, this armor is weak. This is 200 millimeter armor. How is 30 mils getting through this? I think the guns might not be balanced particularly well. Um, I don't think this works very well because of the recoil. I don't know. I feel like there's some physics issues here. Uh, maybe I have some mod installed that. Ooh, maybe I have like. Um, yeah, I think I do. I think I probably have like uh, joint reinforcement, Kerbal joint reinforcement. That might be messing with the physics a little bit. Oh, look, they've hit the building behind it. The KSC is on fire now. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is interesting. Uh, I did test it in the buildings. It doesn't seem to be able to navigate buildings. I wouldn't expect it to be able to, especially on the first release, but it would be cool if that happened. Maybe I could write a plugin for that. Um, not that I have time to be writing DD Armour plugins, but at some point someone to write a plugin to allow you to do urban combat with this. Looks like this guy's getting, just getting messed up by all these 30 mils. Maybe he needs some support tanks. Oh, he is dead. Wow, he got ruined. I was hoping that would go on for longer. Why, why did I give you 200mm armor if it was just going to be destroyed by... Alright, okay. Let's try two main battle tanks. Are any of these even damaged? These are the ultimate vehicle. Jesus, yeah, these are good. I think that Abrams is useless. <laughs> oh no, this guy did take a hit slightly in the wheel. Did a bit of damage. Didn't nearly destroy the wheel, but alright. Okay, right, so we're going to do this again. With more tanks. Until we just have the most... We, until we have the Battle of Kursk. Uh, you know, just 5,000 tanks on each side. One day we'll be able to do that, you know. A hundred years from now, when I'm still alive, because um, I'm never going to die. Uh, you know, you can come back to this channel page. My computer will be powerful enough. I'll, I'll hack Windows 10 onto it, you know. When we've, we've moved past Windows to just, like mind computers and we'll we'll just do it with like um with like a thousand with a thousand tanks just just because we'll have the processing power because that's obviously the limitation in this kind of thing is building vehicles like this they're quite detailed so they have a lot of parts um so you can't do massive battles i mean i have in the past though i mean in fall of kerbin um the big the big war series with a lot of tanks because it was world war Two. uh we did do uh, i think I think we did do like a 10 on 10 at one point um, in, in the episode Battle of Kursk. I think that did happen. Um, so yeah, it is possible to do big tank battles, but not massive ones. Um, oh, nope, don't shoot. <laughs> Alright, let's get all this on. And then just get all this on. And go fight! Go murder each other! Go fuck them up. Alright, these guys seem to be running away. Okay, but they've activated their guns now. And maybe they'll... Let's see what happens. I'm wondering if... Yeah, why are these? These seem to be wildly inaccurate. Um, I don't know. Let's get got a hit over there. We'll see. Maybe it's just oh, a three on one's a pretty pretty tough number. Um, I mean, oh yeah, now now they're ponying. That guy's like ruined over there. Um, this guy is he is he hit? Someone's hit. Someone's wounded. This guy, he's got a hole in his front. Yeah, it was just the massive overwhelming numbers. Yeah, you just need more tanks. All right. Okay. Well, we, what we've discovered today is more tanks is better. We, we, I mean, I don't know if you knew that, but I think more tanks helps you win a battle. I, I didn't know that, but we found that out today. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool, though. Yeah, we could totally do a fighter tank, not fighter tank show. No, fuck it, I'm calling it fighter tank showdown. I like that name. Um, yeah, we could totally do fighter tank showdown, where you all send me tanks and then we do we do a murder, um, do a battle with some murders in it. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so maybe we'll do that at some point after Fighter Jet Showdown, or maybe during, or maybe we have Army Showdown, where we just, we just, we just have the Air Force fighting up above, and then tanks on the ground, and there's naval combat in this. I haven't prepared any ships, I might do a video on the naval combat when I've got all the ship mods installed, but I'm thinking that's possible too. I'm thinking 
We have... Oh my god, I've... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, we're doing that. We're doing everything showdown. Um, just a showdown of all of the things. <laughs> oh my god, shoot that man. I think these main battle tanks are going to lose again. This guy's left... Oh, he hasn't got a gun. Oh my god. Abrams tanks, useless. What you want is a 30mm chain gun on top of a weaker tank, and that'll do the job. We're gonna do this until Abrams tanks wins, though, because I wanna see I wanna see more fighting today. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm totally on board for doing a series of you send me ships, planes, tanks, and we just have a war. I don't quite know how it'll work right now, but it'll totally I don't know, we'll figure it out. The other problem with doing like fighter uh, fighter tank. The other problem with doing Fighter Tank Showdown is it's very easy to... It's harder to specify rules for it. Like, the thing about Fighter Jet Showdown is I set a few rules, but it's, they're not that important and I can edit things if they break them. Because some people just, you know, they're not going to read the rules. I don't expect you to. It's just I'm happy you've sent me a craft. I don't <laughs> want you to have to follow a million rules. Um, how are these doing? Is any of them just... Oh, this guy's been destroyed. He's lost his gun. And this guy's pretty messed up. Tanks, the big tanks may win this. It's, it's anyone's game right now. Um, but yeah, the thing with tanks is you've got to specify armor, and, and I'd probably need a point system. I mean, if you'd be, yeah, I think I'd probably need a point system. So, like, you know, a certain gun costs a certain amount of points, certain armor costs a certain amount of points, and the less points you use, the more tanks you can have in the battle. So, like, yeah, I guess we could figure that out, but it would be a little harder to do. Um, so... I guess we'll see, you know. I'll think about it. It'll take some designing the series, writing some rules, getting people to follow some rules. That might be the difficult bit. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'd, I'd love to do more than just Fighter Jet Showdown now that it's possible. And I do like the idea of having, like... Ne ooh. Ooh, I've just had the best... Oh my god, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is just me spitballing ideas right now. Oh, fuck it. Oh, careful! Yeah, okay, they're all dead. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Yeah, you just killed, like, 30 people. That was the science center. Okay. Alright, well. <laughs> well, get back in the fight. <laughs> okay. Other idea. No tanks. We have naval combat showdown with aircraft carriers. That could be cool. Because, obviously, there's, 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 there's um, like, boat controls now. Ship controls. Um, I think they've only got two tanks with guns now. No, they've got... Two. This guy's just fucking going the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna die soon, hopefully. But yeah, so we could have, like, a bunch of destroyers and frigates and cruisers, and then an aircraft carrier, which actually had, like, aircraft on it, which would take off, fight each other, and then bomb the ships. That could be really cool. So yeah, I think that might be, um... I think that might be an option. Uh, yeah, if you have any other ideas for combinations, you put, I guess you could put tanks on the ships, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I like the idea of, like, naval combat showdown, where we have, um... I might just do a video on that, see how it works, and then, you know, maybe see about having, like, a submission, uh, of, like, a, like, a subscriber submission kind of thing. Um, because again, if you, if you haven't watched any of my, uh, stuff before, uh, the fighter jet showdown I keep talking about, that's all, like, subscriber-designed craft. They fight each other, so what I'm saying is maybe we could have some subscriber-designed naval combat with aircraft in it. Might get laggy and might just all explode, but, uh, could be cool. Anyway, yeah, and that guy died. Right, well, I'm gonna get three Abrams tanks, and we're gonna win this. I am on Team Abrams right now, and we are gonna win. <laughs> I think the guns need balancing, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or maybe I've just built shitty Abrams tanks, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but no, I really like the idea of doing um, a, a, a naval sh naval naval combat showdown. Um, there'll probably be some videos with that before I do like a s subscriber design series on it. Because um, I'm liking this. I'm like, maybe we'll do some tank stuff, but I think where it will be really cool is the combination of Navy and aircraft. I think that might be awesome. I think that would have been... Oh, that would have been very useful for Fall of Kerbin, actually. Um, to have, like, proper... All of this would have been useful for Fall of Kerbin. Fuck, man, we should do Fall of Kerbin again. Fall of Kerbin 2, Electric Boogaloo Revengeance. But, uh, of course, we're doing Kerbal Rising right now. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get all this set up. We're going to go three on three to end out the video. And uh, see what happens. Fuck, get on guard mode, shit. Okay, I fucked that up. Um, okay, these guys going this way, that guy's sitting there, maybe reversing a bit. Yeah, alright. Can you shoot the enemies? No? Alright. Please shoot the enemies! 
<laughs> nah, they're not. They're not having it. I wonder why you keep losing. There we go, you, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Maybe there's like a view range thing. That could be it, actually. Maybe there's like a view cone I haven't been looking at. Um, yeah, it shakes around so much. Look at all this. I don't know what this is about. Have they changed? Uh, yeah, no, the field of view is there. Have they changed how like physics work in KSP 1.4? I, I haven't been paying attention because. I don't know. I, you know. <laughs> I usually do my series in like old. They get stuck in old versions, so I never play the new one, and I'm always really surprised. Like, I only, like, a few days ago fully figured out all the things to do with, like, offsetting things. You know, in the part builder where you can offset and rotate? I only figured out the um, absolute and relative buttons, like, two days ago. <laughs> I've been playing this game for years. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, but now I know how to build craft properly. Shouldn't, apparently not. These are doing terribly. Although I think the Abrams are going to win this. No, I thought that guy was missing a gun. He's not. Maybe I should be driving these tanks. Jesus. Shoot that man. Shoot him. He's going to murder you. Oh, actually, no. Not so much. Where are the other Abrams tanks? Oh, there's another one. And there's a light tank running away. You're damn right you're scared of these Abrams tanks. Oh, wow. That light tank is, is in ruins. This guy's pretty messed up. This guy is... Oh, he's been savaged. Alright, I'm feeling I'm feeling better about these Abrams tanks now. Okay. Yeah, I thought it would be cool. I thought we'd have loads of little ones trying to take on one big one. And it'd be like, uh... I don't know. Like, Battle of the... I don't know. It would be cool, basically. A bunch of little tanks fighting a big tank. But it turned out the little tanks were really good. So, uh... Not so much. I also really like the bullet holes you can see on the beauty armor stuff now. It's like... Not super well placed like this bullet hole, but I think it's it's just nice to be able to see where you've been hit. Um, yeah, wow, these guys have been really just eviscerated now. Look, they're all in ruins. This guy's got to die soon. Hopefully, I mean, it'd be pretty depressing. Maybe it's gun depression is the problem. Um, like, they can't aim low enough. You can depress an Abrams turret a little bit. You're fine. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> no, this is cool though. I, I will definitely do a video on the naval stuff and then maybe incorporate also the aircraft because that'd be really cool. Um, I'll need to. There's a there's a naval there's an I think there's an aircraft carrier mod. I'll just use that and then there's World War Two warships for like ship parts. Um, so yeah, or I'll just go and go go back to the go and grab my craft from uh, Fall of Kerbin. Do that if they're still compatible, which I kind of doubt. Our, um, our, oh, this guy's ruins. He's lost his gun. This guy's lost his gun. I swear to Christ, if the main battle tanks lose again. Son of a bitch! <laughs> they won't. Oh my god. Okay, right. So, what we've learned today is don't use Abrams turrets. Use these tiny little weak ass fucking milk toast bullshit fucking chain guns. <laughs> Because they're the best guns. I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, that is the uh, part of the update to uh, BD Armory. It's pretty fun. Um, I really do like the uh, the whole the whole thing. I, I really like the, uh, the the you know the 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 uh, tank AI. It's interesting. It's 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 not massive right now. It doesn't do a ton of stuff. You can see we've just had a bit of a, but it moves your tanks in a in a meaningful way, which is important. I mean, there's not a ton of stuff you can do with tanks, but when we've uh, had tank battles in the past, you know, in in other videos, um, it's just you got static tanks and then the tanks you move yourself. And, you know, that's kind of boring, so this is definitely, you know, it's it, it's simple, but there's not much else to do with it. I think it's really cool, and I, uh, yeah, I think it, it'll really add to Booty Armory. Um, and the naval stuff probably is about the same as this, so I'm definitely going to test that that out in another video. It just takes a little while to build ships, so obviously I uh, can do that straight away. Um, but, yeah, so uh, look forward to more stuff with uh, more, <laughs> more active AI and maybe my giant kind of ground, sea, air, war, all at once showdown thing. <laughs> I don't know. I think that might be uh, just a bit lag crazy, but who knows. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will leave a link to the mod in the description. Um, it is pretty much just accessed on GitHub nowadays, I think. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been Casper with Tape. I'll see you next time.